Hello world, we're here in UIC with Nomadic Matt. Nomadic Matt, wandering trainer. We got a little apartment here near Times Square. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the new book. Right, yeah. Uh, how to travel the world on fifty dollars a day. Yeah. Um, so tell us what the motivation for the book was. So a couple of years ago I, I wrote this ebook because everyone was always asking me, Hey, how can I do what you do? And you know, the blogging platform isn't great at putting lots of information in one place because you're just a blog on top of a blog. So it makes finding good information harder, especially the older a blog, blog gets. So I put it out on an ebook, and then about a year later, Penguin Publishing, their big publishing house, approached me and said, Would you like to turn into a print book? And I said, oh, Very cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now you always wanted to be a writer since you were young. Yeah, so I mean, at first, I was like, is this for real? <laughs> like, I worked for Penguin, I was like, I don't know, I mean, this doesn't seem suspect. like... Suspect. I was suspect. They, found, they said they found me through Chris Gilbao's website, I'm like, Chris has never linked to me, I wouldn't notice that. But, yeah, it was legit. Now, so, a lot of people, sorry to interrupt, but a lot of people say that you can't uh, travel on $50 a day. Uh, and as a person, I've been traveling around the world, so I want, um, I want you to tell everybody why you decided on fifty dollars. Why not forty or sixty or a hundred? Why why fifty? Well I was gonna do forty nine ninety nine, but it was <laughs> yeah. I mean I think your travel style is a little bit more, look, more luxurious than my travel style. But you know I picked fifty because when I first went away, I mean I had about twenty K and fifty dollars a day works out to be eighteen thousand. That's when you first started traveling. Yeah, so back in two thousand six. Huh. All right, so over the years, I kind of honed how much you really need, and I think, you know, it's a rolling average and it's all inclusive. So it's not just fifty dollars a day on the ground. It's it includes the airfare, trains, everything. Yeah, that's uh, you know, spread out over like a, a year long trip. Now, if you're only going away for two weeks, of course, that daily average, you know, when you factor in the airfare, is going to be higher. Uh, but if you're taking a trip around the world, that's what it works out to be, and you know, once you hit the ground in a country like Thailand or Cambodia, if you're doing 50 a day, you're living pretty well. But if you're doing a budget travel or a backpacking you know, trip, you can get by $20 a day. Eastern Europe, you know, $30, $35 a day. That's, that's one thing I wanted to ask you is the $50, does it have to do with uh, the entire world kind of on a trip or can you do in your, you know, your opinion, for example, fifty dollars just in France, or fifty dollars just in, you know, for example, a place like Brazil, which is getting to be one of the most expensive places in the world. I think you can do fifty anywhere because there's some universal tips. It, what it comes down to is, what do you want to do? Like, I can go to Paris and I can stay couch surf or stay with a friend. My accommodation cost is zero. I can cook all the time. My food cost is going to drop. I can avoid taxis. I can I mean, he says he's a good cook, but... Uh. I am a great cook. <laughs> um, but, you know, it depends. So, you know, what do you want to cut out to hit that? It's, it's a lot harder to hit 50 in Norway than it is, you know, somewhere else in the world. But it is possible. It just depends on how low do you want to go. And so the book itself, you know, shouldn't get caught up in this 50 number. Because in... The whole book, there's lots of information on how to reduce the cost of your trip. I mean, the, the tagline is how to travel cheaper, longer, and smarter. And that's what it's about. Now Traveling tell, smarter. Uh, tell, to interrupt you, but tell everybody where they can find your book. Uh, you can find my book on barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com, in bookstores, in independent stores, Kindles, Kobo, if you're in Canada. So, it has, um, I, I read it this weekend, it has great information, there's a lot of great travel bloggers in there. There's a guy named Wandering Trainer that just gave great information on South America. Um, that guy's a jerk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really good book. Uh, you can find it anywhere. When was it released? Uh, it came out uh, February 5th, 2013. So Which is, today's what, the 20th, 23rd? Today's the 16th, so about, about a week and a half ago or so. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out the book. I thought it was a good read. I know I tra probably travel on a little bit more than $50 a day. But, but, but it's about, you know, finding ways to travel cheap. It, get, you know, not looking directly at just going to Expedia or Hotels.com, mm -hmm. but using other sources that don't get so much press and mass media. That gets you cheaper. You know, 
family-owned guest houses, small local operators, and markets, and discount cards that you don't see in the mass media because they don't have huge advertising budgets. All right, now blitz round. Your favorite country? Thailand. Why? Uh, Not because it was your first place that you went. It's got, it's cheap, it's got good food. No gingers in Thailand. I know. <laughs> it's, it's cheap, it's got good food, great people, it's just warm. I mean, it, it takes all the right boxes. Uh, favorite city in the world? Uh, Stockholm. Favorite travel blog besides your own? Wandering Trader. <laughs> Alright, uh, favorite city, probably New York, well, what did you say the city was? Paris? I said Stockholm. Stockholm, and then favorite place to live, New York? Why is Stockholm for your favorite city? Have you seen what Swedish girls look like? <laughs> right, I mean, the quality yeah, of, likes the gingers. The, the quality of life in Stockholm is just really high, you know, it's clean, it's easy to get around, it's... Now, you're based in New York now, where's your next destination? Uh, I'm going to Europe in May, but I'm currently on a book tour, uh, throughout March and April. In the United States? In the United States. All right, so tell us real quick what the next dates are for your book tour. So on the 18th, uh, I go to D.C. On the 21st. Of February. February. So 18th, uh, D.C.? Yeah, February 21st, I'm in Chicago. March 7th, I'm in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. Uh, And then on the 18th of March, I'm uh, in Denver. And then the 21st, I'm in San Diego, and then I, every few days I'm up the coast, and then I finish on April 3rd in Seattle. All right, very good, guys. So definitely check out the book, How to Travel the World on $50 a Day by Nomadic Matt, nomadicmat.com. There's great advice from this guy in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I doubt, I doubt. S- support him. <laughs> so definitely check it out, guys, and we'll see you soon. Ciao. Bye.